from the Church's Year of Grace by Pius Parsh. You can read more about the Great Feast of the Church by purchasing Beretta Books' reprint of Pius Parsh's The Church's Year of Grace. You can find this and many other fine Catholic books, sacramentals, vestments, and more from BerettaBooks.com. October 20th, St. John Cantius, Confessor. I was an eye to the blind, a foot to the lame, a father to the poor. St. John, Day of Death, December 24th, 1473, canonized in 1767, feast introduced in 1770, grave at Krakow in the Church of St. Anne, life. John Cantus was born in the year 1397 in the Polish town of Kenty, whence his surname. He became a professor of theology, then parish priest. Soon, however, he returned to the professor's chair at the University of Krakow. On foot, he visited the holy places of Rome and Palestine. One day, after robbers had deprived him of all his effects, they asked him whether he had anything more. The saint said no, but hardly had they gone when he remembered having sewn some gold pieces inside his clothing. Immediately he followed and overtook them. The robbers, astonished at the man's sense of truthfulness, refused to accept the money and returned to him the stolen luggage. To guard himself and his household from evil gossip, he wrote upon the wall of his room, after the example of St. Augustine, Conturbare cave, non esplacare suave, difamare cave, nam revocare grave. As in, guard against causing trouble and slandering others, for it is difficult to right the evil done. His love of neighbor was most edifying. Often he gave away his own clothing and shoes. Then, not to appear barefoot, he lowered his cassock so as to have it drag along the ground. Sensing that his death was near at hand, he distributed whatever he had still to the poor, and died peacefully in the Lord at an advanced age. He is honored as one of the principal patrons of Poland. Holy Mass, Miseratio Hominis The Mass, which is proper, belongs to that peculiar modern type, which, departing from classical forms, emphasizes the saint's life and virtues. Today's formulary concentrates on St. John's loving kindness. Misericordia is the key word. From the introit to the communion, there is repeated reference to merciful love on the part of God and man. The epistle from the letter of St. James teaches that faith is worthwhile only when linked to love of neighbor. A most appropriate text is changed as we proceed with our gifts for the poor to the offertory table. Quote, I was an eye to the blind, a foot to the lame, a father to the poor. From Job. And at communion, while we receive the most excellent gift imaginable, we are reminded to give ourselves first to our fellow man. Then will it be given to us richly in return. The gospel is the lovely parable of the watchful servant. The special fruit of today's sacrifice is grace to act kindly toward our neighbor, according to the heroic example of St. John Cantius. Part 3. Meditation. The feast occasions a number of lesser of reflections. A. Saintly professors are not abundant, for mere knowledge of sacred things by no means implies holiness. On the contrary, only the wisdom of the saints is sanctity. Every teacher, however, should be a doctor vitae, a teacher of divine life. Virtue and holiness of life make the words of a teacher really effective. B. The episode of the robbers shows that our saint was an extremist for truth. We are tempted to smile upon hearing the story. Surely in similar circumstances we would not be duty-bound to act as he did, but we are bound to act and live the truth at all times in accord with Christian prudence. Much, accordingly, needs reform. What is my attitude toward half-truths, exaggerations, pretenses, diplomacy? The verses cited above from St. Augustine could well hang on many walls. A little reflection will show that most of our conversation centers around the absent brethren. We are so apt to be harsh in criticizing others and so indignant when someone criticizes us. D. The principal virtue of today's saint is loving kindness. Let us list some of the beautiful passages from the Mass describing this virtue. They are precious gems. From the introit. Lovingly does he teach and correct, for he is the shepherd of his flock. From the epistle. Mercy boasts in the face of judgment. From the Alleluia. He opens his hands to the needy and stretches out his arms to the poor. From the offertory, I was an eye to the blind, a foot to the lame, a father to the poor. And from the communion, give and it will be given to you, in goodly measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will they pour it into your lap.